one and only street photography lens you'll need. Are you sick and tired of having to choose between different focal lengths? And are you over dragging around expensive equipment and heavy Pelican cases? Here's the one lens I recommend. In this video, I'm going to discuss why this lens is a must have, talk about its unique features, discuss the investment, and tell you why it's the one and only lens you need for the streets. But before we cover that, you're probably wondering how I came to this conclusion. One lens? This tiny thing? Why in the hell would you use something like this over this? Look, I'm a fan of big lenses just like the next photographer, but unless you're trying to get ripped or caught taking photos, you'll want to avoid these. Imagine getting ready to take the perfect shot with this huge telephoto lens and this happens. Hope you've got good life insurance. Now look how easy it is with the Sony 40mm f2.5 lens. I doubt he'll notice. See, it's that easy. This is how you get true, authentic, not staged, totally natural photos without people noticing. All right, so it's tiny and it's discreet. That's what she said. <laughs> but here are the four reasons why I love this lens and you'll want to stick around for reason number four because it's the most important. Reason number one, zoom lenses are super cool but sometimes they can create crazy tunnel vision and you can't see anything around your subject. And this is what you get with the 40 millimeter lens. Not only are you able to see your subject, but you're also able to see the cool stuff around them. It's the best of both worlds. You can capture your subject and the background. We call that versatility in framing. Reason number two, think of the 40 millimeter lens like a pair of eyes for your camera. Imagine you're looking at a beautiful street scene. With a 40 millimeter lens, the photo you take will feel familiar just how you naturally see the world. It won't have that weird stretching or squeezing effect that some lenses can give. This makes your photos look more genuine, like you're right there in the moment. And we call that natural perspective. Reason number three. There are two ways to do street photography, but I'm going to tell you which is the safest, most practical, and most creative way to get it done. The first photographer in this example has gear acquisition syndrome, and he wants to bring every single lens with him. Not only is this not practical, but it's also not safe. You don't want to get the wrong kind of attention, and you certainly don't want to get your gear stolen. What is practical and safe is sticking to one lens, one setup that's very discreet, and isn't calling attention to anyone with bad intentions. And by using just one lens, you are challenging yourself to think outside the box, shift your perspective, move your body, and fight for the perfect shot. And here's the final reason I love this lens so much and think the price is worth it. Aperture is like the pupil in your eye. It dictates how much light is let into your camera sensor. This is especially important if you plan on shooting at night. The standard for low light photography is around 2.8. And some of the best lenses that offer f2.8 start around $1,000. But in this case, you're getting 2.5 for half the cost. So it's tiny, not intrusive, super lightweight, and it kicks ass in low light. It's gotta be expensive, right? Wrong. The Sony FE 40mm f2.5 G lens is only $549. It's not just about the specs, it's also about the overall experience. This lens is designed to be your everyday companion. Sony designed this lens specifically for those who want to go compact. This lens is an absolute beast and it is the one and only lens you'll need for street photography. Again, I'm Andy Munoz. Follow me at Andy Utah Films. And if you'd like to see the Sony 40mm in action, click this video right here.